Hello, welcome everybody to this week's art homework. Before I talk about what we're thinking about this week, I want to celebrate Zoe, who sent in photographs of these fabulous Andy Goldsworthy inspired assemblages. Now Zoe has used, as you can see, a variety of things from magnolia leaves, to cherry blossoms, to um, even a little fun pineapple bag that she has at home. As well as that, she sent in some printed posters that she made over the weekend at Tate Britain. And I do believe that a lot of you, particularly our eco counsellors, will agree with these messages very strongly. Well done, Zoe. Remember, you can always send photographs of the artwork you make to share at londonsoutharthub.org. Let me now tell you about our artist in focus this week, Sir Peter Blake is a British artist who makes really vibrant, busy artworks that often include everyday objects, things like toys, advertisements, and also things from popular culture like celebrities. Peter Blake is known for not only being a part of, but really pushing forwards and championing the pop art movement, which was a style of art that emerged in the 1950s and 60s. You see, after the end of the Second World War in 1945, life in Britain, as with many other places around the world, was a bit grey. What I mean by that is not a lot of people had extra money to spare. And it took a long time to recover from the impacts of war. Blake, who was a young man at the time, dreamed of the colour and glamour of American films, music and even clothing. Pop stands for popular and celebrates the popular culture of the time. It's all about taking things from popular culture like music, comics and films and turning them into art. Artists like Peter Blake wanted to show people that art could be inspired by things people see in the everyday and use, and not just traditional subjects like landscapes and portraits. Music is a big inspiration in Blake's work. One of his most famous artworks is called The Beatles' Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album cover, it's a bit of a mouthful. And it was created for the cover of the Beatles album of the same name. The Beatles were a huge pop group uh, from the 1960s onwards. Blake asked each member of the Beatles to write a list of their favourite people. Then he made a life-size crowd of the people cut out from cardboard, like movie star Marilyn Monroe and musician Bob Dylan as well as colourful images of things like flowers and instruments. Next, he asked each member of the Beatles to stand in the middle wearing these bright suits and a photographer took a picture of the scene. The result is this busy, bold and vibrant collage that really captures the feel or the spirit of the time. Another artwork by Peter Blake is called self-portrait with badges. In this painting, he shows himself in a gloomy back garden wearing a denim jacket covered in badges, which were a popular fashion accessory at the time and they still are today, I'm sure. By including everyday objects like badges, Peter Blake is showing that art can be inspired by the things that we wear and use every day. What do you like to wear? What's your favourite kind of outfit? A final artwork I want to tell you about is called The Toy Shop, made in 1962. Like many other children living in London during the Second World War, Blake was evacuated to safety in the countryside. Since he didn't have many toys growing up, he sure made up for it by collecting lots and lots of toys as an adult. He's got 
hundreds of weird and wonderful objects in a studio. What would you like to collect? Or do you already collect something? And what do you see here? What can you spot in his artist studio where he works, where he makes his artworks? Now, on to ideas for your artworks this week. Why not create an interesting, busy scene using collage? All you need is a pencil, different types of paper, by that I mean magazines, newspapers, free newspapers, scissors and glue. You could cut out photos, images of people from newspapers and magazines, even photographs if you've got permission first, and layer them in the same way that Blake did for the Beatles album cover. Stick them on top of each other to create a really happy, chaotic, busy scene. It's a bit like making a giant visual jigsaw puzzle, or you can create a collage that's inspired by the first letter of your name. Blake did loads of these alphabet-esque collages. For example, if your name was Emmy, you might collect images of things like elephants, ears, eagles, engines, all sorts, and arrange them in different ways to create your own little alphabet circus. Whatever you decide to do, have fun. Do send me photographs, or better still, bring into school the artworks that you create, and I'd love to share them on our London South Art Hub Instagram. Until next week, cheerio artists.